This is High School Basketball on iTalk 1067, presented by Sholo Ford, produced by White Mountain Youth Productions in cooperation with iTalk 1067 Radio. High School Basketball is also brought to you in part by Northland Pioneer College, Ace Hardware of the White Mountains, Honda Ski and Outdoor Sport, Deemer's Glass, Beeler Orthodontics, Summit Regional Medical Center, Octopus Car Wash, Mountain Mobile Auto Glass, Little Bluebird Studios, and Hudson's Furniture. And now, Sholo Ford presents High School Basketball. It's a championship game for the girls at the Round Valley Round Ball Shootout. It's going to feature the ALA Gilbert Eagles Matched up with the Holbrook starting Roadrunners. They got to this point, with, uh, starting with the American Leadership Academy, Gilbert Eagles, by knocking off Favens, 56-25. And then, yeah, last night, had an opportunity against Ganado and beat them 48-34. to This morning, we matched up with the Blue Ridge Yellow Jackets, and despite getting no production from Tiffany because of uh, early fouls, and then they just wound up resting her because uh, everybody else rose up and uh, really took on the scoring obligations and beat up Blue Ridge 68-46. On the other end of it, Holbrook knocked off Camp Verde 58-30, and then this morning, or I beg your pardon, yesterday, we're uh, on top of Alchesay 54-39 this morning beat up St. John's 50 to 37 to set up this championship game. Number 34, Tiffany Quigley. As uh, they're gonna Number announce 40, the starting lineup Desmond here to celebrate Thompson. the championship accomplishment. Quigley is uh, back out Hello, there Sam having... The nope, we got the national anthem going. We'll, we'll just keep it. In. Well, yeah, we'll, we'll do that. Here we go. Here's the uh, national anthem before the championship game. I think right. I heard Ron Everyham in that quartet. And I don't know if that's where he stepped off to, to, to sing in that. I national. can't tell if you're joking. Uh, no, I, I mean, oh, yeah. okay. All right. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know if that was one of his side gigs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hold on just a second. I gotta go do something real quick. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> I'm with you now. It's been a long day. Put that word out here. ALA Gilbert Eagles wearing the home white. They're going to be moving left to right. Holbrook wearing the red. Here come. Oh. Got a fist bump from the official. I feel like we're good now. Now we are official. <laughs> Samantha Quigley's going to be jumping it up. Opposite her. 
as Aberly is going to be controlled by Gilbert as they're going to go up with a Dudois floater. So they convert the first to get a 2 0 lead. Dudois had a big game in the morning. And she was rising up with the absence of Quigley, who's right now anchoring a 2 3 zone. First time we've seen this is inside. Aberly is going to have it stripped away, taken now by White Rock as she goes behind the back to control the possession, now flashing out and taking it away. Nice defense there from Madison Chappelle. We're going to be looking for Dudois on the court today as she's been a familiar name on this court, and she's actually one of the causes that strip away. Of course, the free ball right now goes to Holbrook. You'd say that was a ace hardware key to the game. Is there a pass over the top of the fence, but nicely defended by Quigley, stripped away, and now the ball's loose, eventually claimed by Chappelle as she is nearly tied up, but able to fight away two Eagles before forcing that one out to Megan Cummings. Cummings with the dribble out toward midcourt. Approaching the three-point line before coming back to the left, right back to Cummings. And she's gonna line up a three-pointer that's up the front rim, rebound tipped. And loose inside before being squirted out and controlled by Samantha Billy. Wow, nice move to the basket, but no finish. Averly can't get that one to fall as it's controlled now on the outside and back over to Quigley. Coming up the right of the lane all the way to the three-point line. I think she had her toe on the line. Indeed, she did. But 5 nothing. Tiffany Quigley is going to get that one in. On the line. Yeah, they're going to call her foot over the line just, just a tad for that two-point. Moving to the far sideline, Madison Chappelle trailing 5-0. Again, Aberly getting the catch on the inside. Both Quigley's there defending her. Going to get Samantha Quigley on that one. All right, so they're just confirming that Let's Tiffany Quigley's two-pointer was indeed a two-pointer. And Matia Aberly is going to shoot two of the Mountain Mobile Auto Glass free throw line. That will get Holbrook on the board. Took nearly two minutes, but trailing now just four to one. All of the roadrunners in the backcourt. So an easy rebound there for Samantha Quigley, who was whistled for that first person. Quigley, the senior, approaching the three-point line before crossing over. Back outside, Tiffany Quigley. Try to get to the foul line. Instead, it's off to the angle right, where Dudois shoots a three-pointer that's short. Rebounded, though, by Dudois. With the dribble on the second opportunity, leading four to one. She starts moving to the right, trying to hand it off to Quigley. Gives it to her on the hard give. Quigley going to circle out now and approach the foul line before bouncing it off to the far side. The wide open White Rock. No, that, yes, that is White Rock. So two good looks there for the Eagles, but no points to show for it. As Bain goes into the corner and then back outside to Cummings. Back over to Bain, moving to the right, trying to force it into Averly, but she's surrounded by Eagles. Now Johnson dives on it, ties it up, and the possession arrow is going to send it back to ALA Gilbert. I tell you what, right now the uh, Holbrook Roadrunners are saving grace is the fact that the Eagles haven't been able to land too many of their shots. Otherwise, we'd be looking at a different score. One quickly screens another. Give it back to Samantha. Now out of position, but nice recovery there by the Roadrunners. To the right side, to the corner three, wide open. Samantha Quigley's over the rim and rebounded inside, but nearly taken away by Quigley. She's got to be careful. She's already got the one foul. Micah Joe having a hard time with the much taller Quigley as that one trying to find the corner. Nearly overthrown, but gathering that is Chappelle. Now losing that one out of bounds. It's going to go back over to ALA Gilbert. This could easily uh, slide back over to ALA in, in terms of taking a huge lead if their shots start to fall like we've seen them do earlier today. We've been accustomed to watching the Eagles play so well on the offensive side, but right now in the early going, it's the Eagles defense that is really setting the tone. That's true. Up and down between the rings, Dudois starts it off too quickly. Now she is on the attack and loses the handle as she was on the approach. Everly went over there and got in her way. So loose ball picked up by Chappelle. The Roadrunners with the basketball trailing 4-1. Oh, 
Chappelle moves it to the right side, and Joe. Joe retreating away from Dudois, and then reverses it back off to the near side and Bain. Bain thinks about it, now puts up a three-pointer that's short. Chappelle with the rebound over to Joe. She's got a three from the right wing. That's also short. Another rebound controlled by Bain, and now another tie-up. Possession arrow is going to go back to Holbrook. Baseline left. Cummings looking to inbound, trying to find Averly. She's got the quick catch and up and in. Averly got the height advantage on that shot. I think that explains ALA Gilbert's zone. Yeah. Willing to provide Holbrook some opportunities from the outside to make sure they can collapse on Averly. Flashing out into the passing lane and knocking that out of bounds was Cummings. Nope, that's Chappelle. Four to three. ALA Gilbert seemingly in control over the first four plus minutes, but only up one, and that might inspire this timeout. 3.37 to go, and just a narrow one point lead in this championship game as you watch Solo Ford's presentation of high school basketball on italk1067.com. Want to buy the number one selling truck in America for over 41? Want to buy the number one selling truck in America for over 41 years? Want to buy a vehicle with a lifetime engine warranty? Want to get the best deal in the state of Arizona on your new Ford car, truck, van, or SUV? Go to Sholo Ford. Anyone can say they'll give you a great deal, but Guy Hatchet Sholo Ford means it. In fact, he guarantees it. Buy the best from the best. Now off to the timeout, quickly loses the basketball twice. They're coming off to the near side. Cummings, worth the dribble, move it off to the right. Well outside the three-point line is Bain. Still matched up in this 2-3 zone, and I think it's a collapse around Aberly, but that is going to provide her with opportunities to crash the offensive glass as she does so there. And that's going to be number two on Samantha Quigley. I think both of those have been on Averly as well. Uh, there we go. Her second. She is responsible for both of the whistles that have gone against ALA Gilbert. And they're going to pull her out really quick. So not going to roll the dice like they did with Tiffany in the first game today. They're going to get Samantha out. And Tess Baldwin will check in to replace her. Both free throws go down, so Holbrook now with its first lead. Five to four, and Dudois approaching the top of the key. Moving to the right, now trying to attack right, but kept it in front of her is Cummings. Nice job there on the denial. Sits back outside to White Rock. White Rock crosses over, she's on the interior. Nearly a carrying violation there, as instead it's gonna line up Johnson for this wide open three that's too strong. Rebounded on the weak side by Joe. Here come the Roadrunners looking to extend their first lead. Into the corner, a three-pointer is up and too strong up the back rim. Rebounded on the interior by White Rock. Here comes Dudois. Holbrook's defense is backed up. Off to the left. Quigley can't get a look. White Rock near the top of the key. Fires it into the corner. Johnson's being dared to shoot that time with Everly in her face. Going to say that was a two-pointer. Yeah, her toes were on the line. Six to five. The Eagles back in front. Now looking for an answer. Cummings three-pointers up and in. That Hudson's three-pointer is going to make it an eight to six ball game. First time either side has been able to connect from downtown. Minute 53 to play here in the first. Dudois to Johnson. She's looking for it again from that corner, and she's got it down. Despa Johnson with consecutive buckets from this near corner. Back in front go the Eagles. Coming thought about a quick response. Instead, it's back out to Bain. Bain moving it off to the right. Micah Joe getting it back from Bain. She's well outside that wing to the free throw line and Chappelle, and then back outside to Bain. Her three-pointer's off the bottom of the backboard, but an easy rebound there for Aberly. It's gonna be very important for the ALA Gilbert Eagles to maintain some box-out integrity as Johnson this time got Aberly to come out and flash out on her, and that allows her to penetrate 
and score that one off the glass to get it right back in front. It's turned into a seesaw affair with one minute to go here in the first quarter. Aberly is surrounded and stripped from behind by Dubois. Chance of transition here for the Eagles, but Chappelle is able to take the dribble away, and she's got to be traveling. Now they're going to force the tie up. Now, how is that not traveling when she's skidding along the floor? Yeah, she's oh. Well, it works out so that it's the Eagles basketball, but I think that they shouldn't have had to lose the possession to start the second quarter. Leading 11 to 10, 45 seconds left. As Dutois denied the penetration. Coming over to Quigley, she moves straight away. Spinning into traffic, there's Johnson. She's already got one deep ball, but that one's short. Loose ball though, picked up by Johnson in an offensive foul. Yeah, Johnson had a little push off on that play, trying to create some space. I gotta take your word for it, I couldn't see. So, the Roadrunners now with an opportunity to hold for the final shot. Just 20 seconds left as they are trailing 11 to 10. It looks like they're gonna try to get it. They're gonna get the ball to start the second quarter as well because of that traveling violation that was not called. Now a three-pointer is hoisted up and put in by Mike and Joe. Hudson's furniture three-pointer makes it 13 to 10. Here's Dujois with just three seconds to work. Two seconds, she doesn't realize. Quigley is gonna take the long three and it's not gonna make it. 13-11 in the back and forth ball game here oh, after one on Sholo Ford's presentation of championship high school basketball on italk1067.com. Want to go fishing? Head to Honda Ski and Outdoor Sport. They have fishing supplies, outdoor fishing attire, and fishing gear, plus all kinds of bait including live worms, flies, and lures. The staff are experienced anglers and they can advise you on what you need, where to go, and what type of bait the fish are biting on. Plus, pick up your fishing, camping, and boat permits. When you think fishing, think Honda Ski and Outdoor Sport. Located on Highway 260, one mile before the casino. You've been there, waiting forever at the gas station for the guy to free up so he can fill up your propane tank. Or worse, when the only qualified propane technician decided to stay home that day. Yep, you've been there, and I have too. That's why now I get my propane from Ace Hardware every time. You get Ace Hardware's world-famous customer service when you stop in for propane. That's right, you get in, you get out, and you get a great deal on propane and everything else. From Ace Hardware at their locations in Pine Top and Heber. Ace Hardware is proud to support White Mountain Sports. It was a Micah Joe three-pointer to give Holbrook a 13-11 lead. Now the Roadrunners with the basketball after it looked like Chappelle had been traveling as she scooted across the floor. So now trying to take advantage of that break. And the three-pointer is lifted up from Cummings. It's not good. But the ball's loose and eventually claimed by Quigley. Samantha Quigley got two fouls in the first quarter, and she's still on the bench. Coming up with Dutois as Tess Baldwin, who's in there for Quigley's, moves across the lane. Dutois trying to direct traffic, but it winds up just going up and down. Back out to Dujois as she crosses over to get to the right and out of the corner where Quigley's going to go along the baseline where she is tripped up and a foul will be whistled. Who are they going to get? I think they could choose two Roadrunners and they're going to go with Aberly. Yeah, it was either going to be Aberly or Cummings on that one. First whistle against the Roadrunners. There's a catch and shoot opportunity for three for White Rock. It's no good. Now a tie up is going to give the ball back to ALA Gilbert. So both teams showing some good hustles. Coming off the bench is Desiree Bain. Really quick break for her. And she is going to spell Micah Joe. Joe's three pointer right now providing the difference as it's inbounded to Quigley and there, quick move around Aberley to get that one off the glass. Are those her first points? Uh, she's got two, two more. All right. Tie it up at 13, seven minutes left in the half. Dudois forces the ball away from Taylor Spencer. Now to the free throw line and Chappelle back outside Spencer. Can't get some separation from Dudois, so it's back to reset. Cummings and Bain going back and forth. Now Spencer on the wing to the foul line and Aberly back outside for an open look for Cummings off the front lip, no good. 
And the rebound is thrown back in play, but right to Bain. Now she's on the attack from straight away. Can't use the backboard and nearly taken away from Quigley. She needs some help as she throws a long pass up to Johnson. Now the Eagles have numbers as Johnson's going to put the floater up over Averly. It's not good. Baldwin with the offensive rebound. Kick it back out Quigley. Her three-pointer is up and short. Rebounded this time by Averly as she's going to push it out. Find Chappelle. 13-13. The defensive attack on this game is intense, Derek. It really is. Both these teams want this hardware. Six minutes left in the half. Bain going side to side. Chappelle with a touch, and now off to coming. Skip it back to Bain. Shoot a three. Got it. Hudson's furniture three-pointer gives it a three-point edge to the Holbrook Roadrunners. Now still playing without Samantha Quigley, and I think right now, just trying to give her a break. If they can keep it close, the Eagles may not bring her back out here in this first half. Up and down goes White Rock. She's been quiet here to start. As they move it over to Dutois, and now Quigley being pressured on the outside. Chappelle forces the ball out of her hands. Back over to Quigley. White Rock's in the corner. Her three-pointer's up, and off the front lip. Baldwin trying to get the rebound. Can't keep away coming, so she's going to claim. And here come the Roadrunners looking to extend their largest lead. Nice box out by Cummings getting that rebound. Come, or Chappelle's on the attack and then contacted from behind by Quigley. Quigley called for the foul. And Tiffany Quigley picks up her first. Got to keep going. To the free throw line is Madison Chappelle, 5'6", junior. Taking a long time to size this one up. And it's short. Three new Roadrunners coming in. They are Jocelyn Thomas, Thomas Micah Joe three. coming back in, and Number Samantha Philly. Averly's getting her first break. Let's see what the Eagles want to do defensively now that they don't have to worry about Averly. That was Chappelle's first attempt at a Mountain Mobile out of glass free throw. This will be her second right here. Second is up and good. 17-13. Quigley takes the inbound away from Dubois, going back to White Rock. She is surrounded by road runners and able to get that one momentarily back, but eventually taken this time by Billy. Three on two as it's too far in front of Thomas. She makes a valiant effort diving for it, but it's still going to roll out of bounds. Four-point game is now ALA Gilbert wanting to hurry into the front court. Quigley throws a pass right to Waiting Thomas. Thomas gives way to Billy, and she loses the basketball out of bounds. And I think now the ALA Gilbert coaching staff has seen enough. Here comes Samantha Quigley to replace Tess Baldwin, who gave the Eagles some very good minutes as Quigley dealing with two fouls. Now she's going to have to be careful. Nearly loses the handle, and Chappelle pokes it away, but she's going to get it right back. Head of steam as she cuts it to the paint. Back outside, White Rock. Wide open three, and an opportunity wow. for Tiffany Quigley from 22. She is able to make it a one-point game on that Hudson's Furniture three-pointer. 17-16, and here's Chappelle. Start the offense to the right side in Bain. Joe, who's been good from the outside, gets the pass right back into the right wing and Bain to the free throw line and Chappelle going right at Quigley, just trying to get that foul on her. I don't know if that was the best choice. Yeah, she tried too hard to draw the contact. Missed the bucket. Dubois with the finish after the long find from Quigley. Back in front go the Eagles. 18-17. Holbrook has a deep bench tonight. Back to the left side and Billy. Thomas, Bain, now to touch to the post and Chappelle going right out to Quigley's back outside. It's Joe who's open for three. She even draws some late contact. That Hudson's three pointer puts Holbrook back in front. Micah Joe's second connection from downtown is Quigley. Thinking about going on the attack, matched up with Billy. She had to take her to the post. Instead, it's on the outside, Samantha Quigley. 
There it is, Tiffany, but back on the outside, looking to face up, uses a screen, instead skip it to Dutrois. Three pointers on the way from the right ring and misses the apparatus. Two fifty three left as Jocelyn Thomas comes out. Couldn't, uh, couldn't see who else was coming out. Uh, Midcourt and then off to the left, Joe. Back over to Taylor Spencer, who's trying to force a pass inside, That's looking for down. Bain, but Go it's down. out of bounds, knocked away by one of the interior defenders. Yeah, that was uh Wayne White Rock on that. Corner three nearly attempted by Cummings. Instead, it's reversed. Bain's going to be open on the left wing. Too strong. Rebounded by Chappelle. One of the big dangers of going zone. He's got all sorts of avenues open for offensive rebounds. Off to the corner of the near side. Now bounce it to the left block. Chappelle blocked from behind. Loose ball picked up by the blocking party, which was Tiffany Quigley. Now she is being chased by three roadrunners and traveling. As she got triple teamed with the defensive end, running back down the court and uh, trying to hold on to the ball, ends up with the travel. Averly's coming back in as she replaces Chappelle. 20 to 18, Holbrook leading. Two minutes left in the half as up and down in the center circle goes Micah Joe. And now a foul is called on Tiffany Quigley. Second personal Second whistle on Tiffany Quigley. I couldn't see what was going on. It was away from the basketball, but she's going to remain out there. She and Samantha both have two fouls. Is after wow. the whistle, three pointers pumped in from Desiree Bain. Hudson's Desiree furniture three pointer makes it a five point game. This is the largest lead either side has had. Hesitate and then a bumping. Oh, oh. double dribble is called on Quigley, and the Quigleys are showing an awful lot of frustration. I think they might have a case. Five fouls have been whistled against ALA Gilbert to just one for Holbrook here in the half. Four of them have been on Samantha and Tiffany Quigley. Trying to find Averly on the inside, but the pass sails over her head. A lot of frustration with a tight game like this. You talk about the foul line and approaching the bonus. <clears throat> we were told that the Quigleys are from Sanders. So that might be uh, inspiring a lot of the intensity from the fans behind us. <laughs> Here in this matchup with Holbrook, Johnson's going to try from three, but it's too firm. And careful not to pick up a third personal. Rebounded. Oh, now that's the third. Yeah. Oh, that be on Samantha. Oh, that's the third foul on Samantha Quigley. And she's going to remain out there with her third personal. Minute and six seconds left. This could be a pivotal decision here by the ALA bench. Trying to force it inside to Averly. Said they're just going to hand it off to Joe. Cummings and now on the outside, Spencer. One minute to play. As up and down goes Cummings, moving to the right. Looking inside at Averly, trying to get number three on <laughs> Tiffany Quigley. Instead, the jump Double ball is going to be called. And she was flirting with it there. Wow. Those arms started to come down. Usually that's the dead giveaway, but not so this time. As there's 50 seconds left, and Holbrook still with the basketball. And she took a break there. Got a break. Reaching in, and now there's number four. Uh, that is some seriously small change. And she picks up her fourth. You'd like to have the officials with a little bit more awareness of the situation. And in fairness to them, Quigley shouldn't have been reaching with three fouls. And in fairness to her, she probably shouldn't have been on the floor. Right. But that is a really tough way to pick up your fourth foul. Yeah, with 46 seconds left in the quarter. 
it's a tough spot to have one of your top performing players be in foul trouble this early in the game. One and one is not good. As now Quigley, who has two fouls of her own, gets to the free throw line all the way in and good, and she's fouled. Tiffany Quigley on the make, and now with an opportunity to make it a three-point play. Now that is number two on Aberley. Just the second personal whistled against Holbrook. And they've both been against Michaela a or uh, Nathaya Aberley. 23 to 20, and 30 seconds remain here in the half. And she traveled. Taylor and Spencer got a running start into that three pointer. So now look at this. Despite missing Samantha Quigley for an extended period and having such a hard time without getting any points from their big three and Dudois and both of the Quigleys. White Rock also has been uncharacteristically quiet. An opportunity to tie it up here, or even take a lead into the locker room. Dutois with 12 seconds starts moving left to right. Now trying to put her head down, get down outside to White Rock, whose three-pointer is not good, but there's Baldwin with the putback. It's not good, but she is bumped and fouled. Foul's going to go against Talatia Yazzie. And here's Baldwin to shoot two with four seconds remaining in the half. Baldwin a little bit short on that one. Second one is up and good. So 23-22, Tess Baldwin's been forced into some action because of the foul problem that has plagued Samantha Quigley. And 23-22 is going to be a nip-tuck affair after the first half, but advantage Holbrook at this point, in large part because of the foul trouble that the leading scorer for the Eagles has been beset by. 23-22 here on Sholo Ford's presentation of high school basketball on italk1067.com. When you think glass, think Deemer's Glass in Lakeside. Deemer's Glass offers the best selection of quality glass with affordable prices. They do full home window packages, replacement windows, custom shower doors and enclosures, custom mirrors in many shapes, styles, and colors, glass doors and hardware, commercial glass for buildings and offices, skylights, screens, fire-rated glass for your fireplace or stove, window film, and more. Visit Deemer's Glass today on Porter Mountain Road in Lakeside or call 1-888-GLASSMAN. Orthodontist Dr. Joshua Beeler has been providing family-friendly orthodontics in Sholo and the entire White Mountains since 2006. If you need braces, stop in and see the friendly folks at Beeler Orthodontics and meet their professional staff. Dr. Beeler and his team have the latest in orthodontics technology, and they work with each patient individually to custom-tailor the most effective treatment plan for the best results. Beeler Orthodontics is a proud sponsor of high school sports. Beeler Orthodontics. Live to smile. Love your smile. Need hats, shirts, or jackets embroidered with your logo? Get custom embroidered products from Little Bluebird Studios. That's right, the company that does the best job screen printing t-shirts and hoodies now offers embroidery. Little Bluebird Studios is a local company with skilled designers that care about your company's image and brand. Call Little Bluebird Studios today, 928-351-7942 or online at littlebluebird.org. Little Bluebird Studios, the company that cares. Hudson's Furniture has quality furniture at affordable prices. With their newly expanded showroom, they offer furniture for every room in your home, including best home furnishings, featuring solid wood construction and a lifetime warranty. And customized orders are available to fit your individual size, color, and style. Plus, get guaranteed credit approval with zero interest and zero down. For the best prices on quality furniture, visit Hudson's Furniture, across from Walmart in Taylor. 
In today's challenging economy, having a college education is a must. Northland Pioneer College is here to help you prepare for your future. NPC is committed to providing you with the highest quality education with the lowest tuition cost in the state. We offer a variety of advanced learning classes to prepare you for a transfer or associate's degree, personal interest education, or earning your GED. Contact an academic advisor for more information. Go online at npc.edu. Summit Healthcare Regional Medical Center is a proud supporter of high school sports. Many of our local sports players were born at the hospital where Summit Obstetrics offers comfortable individual rooms for mom and baby. In case of a sports injury, the hospital ER is always staffed and prepared to take on the most serious injuries. And Summit features an advanced diagnostics department with state-of-the-art equipment. The Summit Healthcare Orthopedic and Therapy teams can help sports players overcome injuries and return to the game. Summit Healthcare Regional Medical Center wishes all players a successful and healthy season this year. Want to buy the number one selling truck in America for over 41 years? Want to buy a vehicle with a lifetime engine warranty? Want to get the best deal in the state of Arizona on your new Ford car, truck, van, or SUV? Go to Sholo Ford. Anyone can say they'll give you a great deal, but Guy Hatchet Sholo Ford means it. In fact, he guarantees it. Buy the best from the best. Sholo Ford on the east end of the deuce. Want to go fishing? Head to Honda Ski and Outdoor Sport. They have fishing supplies, outdoor fishing attire, and fishing gear. Plus, all kinds of bait, including live worms, flies, and lures. The staff are experienced anglers, and they can advise you on what you need, where to go, and what type of bait the fish are biting on. Plus, pick up your fishing, camping, and boat permits. When you think fishing, think Honda Ski and Outdoor Sport. Located on Highway 260, one mile before the casino. Twenty-three, twenty-two. Holbrook is leading, as it's been uh, really close throughout. I think the largest lead that anybody has had was Holbrook's five-pointer, and ALA Gilbert playing with uh, Samantha Quigley being limited because of foul. She now has four. Really, it seems as if they're going to need Tiffany Quigley and Alyssa Dudois to rise up and try to help her out. But they've also been doing a great job on the day Ab or Averly, as uh, she has been kept relatively in check because of the zone. Yeah, that's right. She did get uh, quite a few attempts uh, in, in the first quarter, uh, but in the, in the, towards the end of the second period, they were able to shut her down. But it's been the three ball that has really been allowing Holbrook the separation. It's not enough to really get uh, ALA Gilbert out of the zone. Yeah, Holbrook's got three players who just drained some, some three-pointer shots. We have Cummings, uh, sorry, Cummings, Bain, and Joe who've been able to, to execute from the three-point line. Leading 23-22 at the break. This is the championship ball game for the girls in the Round Valley Round Ball Shootout here on Shola Ford's presentation of High School Basketball on italk1067.com. Want to buy the number one selling truck in America for over 41 years? Want to buy a vehicle with a lifetime engine warranty? Want to get the best deal in the state of Arizona on your new Ford car, truck, van, or SUV? Go to Sholo Ford. Anyone can say they'll give you a great deal, but Guy Hatch at Sholo Ford means it. In fact, he guarantees it. Buy the best from the best. Sholo Ford on the east end of the deuce. You've been there, waiting forever at the gas station for the guy to free up so he can fill up your propane tank. Or worse, when the only qualified propane technician decided to stay home that day. Yep, you've been there and I have too. That's why now I get my propane from Ace Hardware every time. You get Ace Hardware's world-famous customer service when you stop in for propane. That's right, you get in, you get out, and you get a great deal on propane and everything else. From Ace Hardware at their locations in Pine Top and Heber. Ace Hardware is proud to support White Mountain Sports. When you think glass, think Deemer's Glass in Lakeside. Deemer's Glass offers the best selection of quality glass with affordable prices. They do full home window packages, replacement windows, custom shower doors and enclosures, custom mirrors in many shapes, styles, and colors, glass doors and hardware, commercial glass for buildings and offices, skylights, screens, fire-rated glass for your fireplace or stove, window film, and more. Visit Deemer's Glass today on Porter Mountain Road in Lakeside or call 1-888-GLASSMAN. 
Orthodontist Dr. Joshua Beeler has been providing family-friendly orthodontics in Sholo and the entire White Mountains since 2006. If you need braces, stop in and see the friendly folks at Beeler Orthodontics and meet their professional staff. Dr. Beeler and his team have the latest in orthodontics technology, and they work with each patient individually to custom-tailor the most effective treatment plan for the best results. Beeler Orthodontics is a proud sponsor of high school sports. Beeler Orthodontics. Live to smile. Love your smile. Need hats, shirts, or jackets embroidered with your logo? Get custom embroidered products from Little Bluebird Studios. That's right, the company that does the best job screen printing t-shirts and hoodies now offers embroidery. Little Bluebird Studios is a local company with skilled designers that care about your company's image and brand. Call Little Bluebird Studios today, 928-351-7942 or online at littlebluebird.org. Little Bluebird Studios, the company that cares. Hudson's Furniture has quality furniture at affordable prices. With their newly expanded showroom, they offer furniture for every room in your home, including best home furnishings, featuring solid wood construction and a lifetime warranty. And customized orders are available to fit your individual size, color, and style. Plus, get guaranteed credit approval with zero interest and zero down. For the best prices on quality furniture, visit Hudson's Furniture across from Walmart in Taylor. In today's challenging economy, having a college education is a must. Northland Pioneer College is here to help you prepare for your future. NPC is committed to providing you with the highest quality education with the lowest tuition cost in the state. We offer a variety of advanced learning classes to prepare you for a transfer or associate's degree, personal interest education, or earning your GED. Contact an academic advisor for more information. Go online at npc.edu. Summit Healthcare Regional Medical Center is a proud supporter of high school sports. Many of our local sports players were born at the hospital, where Summit Obstetrics offers comfortable individual rooms for mom and baby. In case of a sports injury, the hospital ER is always staffed and prepared to take on the most serious injuries, and Summit features an advanced diagnostics department with state-of-the-art equipment. The Summit Healthcare orthopedic and therapy teams can help sports players overcome injuries and return to the game. Summit Healthcare Regional Medical Center wishes all players a successful and healthy season this year. Holbrook leading the ALA Gilbert Eagles 23-22 at halftime. Who's been leading the way for the Roadrunners? I'll tell you what, for the Holbrook Roadrunners, it's going to be Matea Averly. She's got seven points on the first half. And if you look over at the other side of the court, ALA Eagles have got a couple of high scores, but uh, the biggest one's going to be Tiffany Quigley with 10 points. And uh, the other one would be Desma Johnson, somebody else to mention to, to be on the lookout for. And, as we talk about the Ace Hardware keys to the game, Derek, what do you see being that the case being such a tight game, one point game coming into the third period? Well, I, I think it's going to all come down to how well the Eagles can perform without a fully available Samantha Quigley. And she is going to start the half with four personals. And I would wager she's probably going to start the half on the bench. So they don't want to run the risk of her doing something to reach in there and literally, as we saw with her fourth row, right, pick up her fifth and final foul. So. That's going to be the big key. And on the other side, I think it's just continuing to find options on the outside as they've been packing the zone in around Aberly. Have the Roadrunners. Yeah, Roadrunners have been able to knock down the three pretty consistently. 23 22, they're leading at the break. We'll start the second half for you right after this on Solo Ford's presentation of high school basketball on italk1067.com. Want to go fishing? Head to Honda Ski and Outdoor Sport. They have fishing supplies, outdoor fishing attire, and fishing gear. Plus, all kinds of bait, including live worms, flies, and lures. The staff are experienced anglers, and they can advise you on what you need, where to go, and what type of bait the fish are biting on. Plus, pick up your fishing, camping, and boat permits. When you think fishing, think Honda Ski and Outdoor Sport. Located on Highway 260, one mile before the casino. Want to buy the number one selling truck in America for over 41 years? Want to buy a vehicle with a lifetime engine warranty? Want to get the best deal in the state of Arizona on your new Ford car, truck, van, or SUV? Go to Sholo Ford. Anyone can say they'll give you a great deal, but Guy Hatch at Sholo Ford means it. In fact, he guarantees it. Buy the best from the best. Sholo Ford on the east end of the deuce. You've been there, waiting forever at the gas station for the guy to free up so he can fill up your propane tank. Or worse, when the only qualified propane technician decided to stay home that day. Yep, you've been there, and I have too. 
That's why now I get my propane from Ace Hardware every time. You get Ace Hardware's world-famous customer service when you stop in for propane. That's right, you get in, you get out, and you get a great deal on propane and everything else. From Ace Hardware at their locations in Pine Top and Heber. Ace Hardware is proud to support White Mountain Sports. When you think glass, think Deemer's Glass in Lakeside. Deemer's Glass offers the best selection of quality glass with affordable prices. They do full home window packages, replacement windows, custom shower doors and enclosures, custom mirrors in many shapes, styles, and colors, glass doors and hardware, commercial glass for buildings and offices, skylights, screens, fire-rated glass for your fireplace or stove, window film, and more. Visit Deemer's Glass today on Porter Mountain Road in Lakeside or call 1-888-GLASSMAN. All right. ALA Gilbert starts the second half with the basketball and Dudois completing a drive to give the Eagles a lead. Samantha Quigley is out at the top of the 2-3 zone with Johnson. So she is out there with four fouls. Tiffany Quigley has two. On the baseline all alone is Averly as they're forcing the side-to-side -side action from the Roadrunners who are now back down one after leading by five. Between the circles, off to the far side and Bain. Trying to skip it back to the right where Cummings is open for three, but it's an air ball blocked after the rebound by Chappelle. She gets the loose ball back out. So able to work it again around the perimeter. Chappelle wanting to go inside, looking at Averly. Instead, it's back toward midcourt. Back and forth, Chappelle and Cummings go. As this move with Samantha Quigley up at the top of the own seems to have taken Holbrook aback a bit. We haven't really seen any major changes made from the half as both teams come out with the same type of philosophy. Moving this pass to the near sideline, gathered in, nearly out of bounds by Micah Joe. Able to get this one off to Cummings. The zone rotated well outside of its comfort area, and that allowed Cummings and Lane to penetrate through and finish that one on the left of the hoop. Back in front go the Roadrunners. Minute and a half in is Dutois as the ball dislodged from her, but a couple of different Roadrunners are in there fouling, and they're going to go ahead and go with Micah Joe. Micah Joe blocked. Chappelle first. gets the last deuce and has her team up one. I think only three fouls have been called against Holbrook, and two of them on Averly. Uh, Micah Joe whistled for that, her first personal as Dutois again gets into the interior. Her runner this time a little bit too strong and rebounded in on the baseline by Micah Joe. The littlest of all out there pulling down the rebound and amongst the trees as she goes to the corner near side. Cummings thought about a three, gets the ball back, and she's got Dutois in front of her. Quigley still out at the top of the 2-3 zone as the three ball is up, being pursued by a few Eagles and actually claimed by White Rock. Now we talk. Oh, go ahead, sorry. Go, go ahead. We talked about the half being able to stop that three ball from Holbrook. Quigley. Nice move there by Quigley to go around Averly's defense. Back in front go the Eagles, 26-25. Chappelle inside and out. Long three attempted there by Bain. Rebound by Averly. Can't get that one. And then a push by Chappelle. Some very excitable parents behind us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Off the bench comes Taylor Spencer. Spencer and she's going to come out and replace uh, Mika Joe. Still a one point game into the third period. It's a tight one. Largest lead has been five. That was Holbrooks. Spencer. Flirting with a reach there is it's going to get Dudois. Now five-second violation as Dudois. I think that she thought that she was going north-south enough to avoid that, but it's not the case as it's going to get ALA's coaches off of the bench and call a timeout leading 26-25 on Shola Ford's presentation of high school basketball on italk1067.com. Orthodontist Dr. Joshua Beeler has been providing family-friendly orthodontics in Sholo and the entire White Mountains since 2006. If you need braces, stop in and see the friendly folks at Beeler Orthodontics and meet their professional staff. Dr. Beeler and his team have the latest in orthodontics technology, and they work with each patient individually to custom tailor the most effective treatment plan for the best results. Beeler Orthodontics is a proud sponsor of high school sports. Beeler Orthodontics, live to smile, love your smile. 26-25.
as uh, ALA Gilbert's coach, Al Springfield, spent most of that time out working the officials. Samantha Quigley still in the contest She's with still four fouls. At the top of that 2-3 zone, that seems like it's made a big difference here, at least in the first three minutes of the second half. She hasn't been a factor on the offensive side, now extending that zone well outside the three-point line and forcing the turnover. I appreciate what ALA Gilbert's trying to do, but you got your star player out there with four fouls. I don't know if five minutes left in the third is the time to really kind of make those aggressive changes and potentially have her exhaust her eligibility. Now Dudois goes this time right around Spencer, gets to the three-point line where she's met by a second defender. Along the far sideline to White Rock and right back to Dubois. Has a hard time with the handle, but he's going to go after it and then get it outside to White Rock. His three-pointer is an air ball. Chappelle's got the rebound. She's going to hurry to the front court left. Holbrook might have numbers if it can hurry, but not so. Chappelle's been somebody to look for for the Deber's Glass glass man of the day. Yeah, no, she's been crashing hard. Now moving it away from Quigley. Picking up the dribble on the far side, Bain goes to Chappelle, three-pointers up off the side rim, rebound outside. Spencer now on the attack, loses the dribble, dove upon and saved by Spencer. Bain gonna control it and then back out to Taylin Spencer. 4.15 left in the third, 26-25. I'm not sure Holbrook has scored yet in this quarter. Just one. Chappelle though with that response, gets to the block and puts that in. Speaking of, she's the only one who scored for Holbrook in the third period. 27-26. Quigley picks up her dribble on the top of the key. Over to Dudois. Get it to Quigley. Ball fake, trying to attack baseline. Back outside Quigley. Tiffany on the attack. Drops it off for Dudois, who's got the finish in traffic. Back in front go the Eagles. 3.36 to go. Dudois will have four on the board so far in the third quarter. Bain, outside the right wing, reverses it. Cummings thought about a three. Instead, it's back over near side. Oh, nope, we're going to keep that in the center before coming to the near side in Bain. Foul line, Chappelle, and back outside. Reverse it, Cummings. Got some space. Three balls on the way. Oh, Good. Wow. Hudson's three-pointer three makes it 30-28. to 28. Holbrook, and where would the Roadrunners be without the ability to shoot over this zone? Now sliding in front of the long pass, stealing it away. Chappelle going right at Quigley, who does a nice job defending that one, and then a foul is going to be whistled on White Rock, who tried to tap the rebound out. Cummings with nine points in behind the arc in this game. But give an appreciation for how good Averly is because it's not been enough to draw America or ALA Gilbert out of the zone. Now back inside goes Quigley, Samantha Quigley that is, with those four fouls. Less than three minutes to go, Tiffany Quigley fires a pass inside Johnson with the catch and high off the glass to score it. Nice roll by Johnson. Tie it up at 30, 242 left. Spencer, cross court, Cummings. Three pointers on the way, she's got it down. She cannot be stopped. Fourth three point shot by Cummings. Dudois, who's been an offensive force here in the third quarter, crosses over and then gets by Spencer. Back outside, Johnson steps around Averly, but a little bit of a wild running shot. Easy rebound inside for Chappelle as she's streaking up the sideline. Now coming over to Cummings, who this time is closed out on. Get it over to Spencer, to Bain. Three-pointers on the way. Oh, it's down. Gosh. And here's the largest lead for Holbrook, 36-30. And it's again the Hudson's Furniture three-pointer that is doing it. Holbrook's three-point shooting is just off the charts right now. Tiffany Quigley inside and out to Samantha Quigley. Over to White Rock, trying to answer with the three, but it's off the side rim and rebounded by Chappelle. LA is going to have to bring the ball inside and not try to buy into the three-point game right now. Cummings wants another, but it's an air ball. Dudois was in the neighborhood, and I think they gave her a moment of pause. Samantha Quigley, who has not been a factor offensively, drops it off for Dudois. She's going right at nice. Averly and scores that floater. That's exactly what ALA is going to have to do. Sixth point here in the quarter for Dudois as Cummings again left alone on the wing. A three-pointer this time too strong. Dudois with the rebound as both sides looking a little bit worn out. They're going to get a break in a minute and 10 seconds. Dudois trying to beat the defense down. Loses the handle. Averly takes it away. Here comes Payne. Going over to Cummings, closed out by Quigley. 
Back over to the right wing and coming. She's been a hot hand. Chappelle gets around Samantha Quigley and scores that one off of the bounce. That's her sixth point of the third quarter for Madison Chappelle. 45 seconds left as White Rock now trying to go. Be careful there, Quigley. As she puts that one up early on the clock. Now six-point lead as the three-pointer is lifted up from Bain. She can't finish. Tiffany Quigley with the rebound. It's poked away out of bounds, but it will stay with the Eagles. Off the bench come two roadrunners, Jocelyn Thomas and Samantha Billy. Going to give Aberly and Chappelle a break. In the backcourt are the roadrunners. The Eagles haven't gone to the bench yet in this third. Bounce it to the right side into Dois. Now White Rock's open. She needs a three. It's off the back rim. Rebounded by Quigley. 15 seconds left. They can hold it for the final shot. Dudois being pressured by Spencer. Here's Quigley with her back to the basket. Stepping oh. around a player and a blocking foul will be whistled against one of the road runners. That's going to be Bain. And that will be in the act of shooting. So to the uh, Mountain Mobile Auto Glass free throw line goes Tiffany Quigley, trailing six. It's up and in. So the biggest storyline at this point is Samantha Quigley has played the entire third quarter without picking up a fifth foul. That is amazing considering she had four in the first two. Second free throw is not good. Rebound, and they're just going to hang on to it in the backcourt and take a five-point lead into the fourth quarter. 38-33, Holbrook is in front on Cholo Ford's presentation of high school basketball on italk1067.com. Need hats, shirts, or jackets embroidered with your logo? Get custom embroidered products from Little Bluebird Studios. That's right, the company that does the best job screen printing T-shirts and hoodies now offers embroidery. Little Bluebird Studios is a local company with skilled designers that care about your company's image and brand. Call Little Bluebird Studios today, 928-351-7942 or online at littlebluebird.org. Little Bluebird Studios, the company that cares. Hudson's Furniture has quality furniture at affordable prices. With their newly expanded showroom, they offer furniture for every room in your home, including best home furnishings featuring solid wood construction and a lifetime warranty. And customized orders are available to fit your individual size, color, and style. Plus, get guaranteed credit approval with zero interest and zero down. For the best prices on quality furniture, visit Hudson's Furniture, across from Walmart in Taylor. ALA Gilbert trailing Holbrook 38-33. The Roadrunner is eight minutes away from taking home a trophy in the Round Valley Round Ball shootout. Roadrunners are going to begin with the basketball. If you had to step away, Samantha Quigley picked up four fouls at the end of the first half and has been since at the top of a 2-3 zone and has thus far been able to avoid being eliminated because of those fouls. But it has opened up an awful lot, especially for Chappelle, who's going to start this fourth quarter on the bench. And the pass into the interior is going to be deflected. Don't know if any of the starters are out there for Holbrook right now. There's one. Is Quigley going to go on the attack against the much shorter lineup? Can't get that one. Tiffany Quigley getting that back up and in. And a foul is going to be whistled against a couple of the different roadrunners who are contacting the much bigger Tiffany Quigley. So there's the fourth team foul on Holbrook. There's our first team four. You didn't see a whole lot of fouls on Holbrook in the first half of the game. No. Trying to force it into Quigley. They do so with the other Quigley. Now trying to back down Spencer, moving to the left, and eventually Quigley scoring that one with the left. All sorts of mismatches out here right now for Tiffany Quigley, and that's going to get most of the starters now off of the bench. 38-35, 7 minutes and 14 seconds left in the championship game. Inside and out, an extra pass over to the corner. A three-pointer is going to be lifted up by Billy. It's over the rim, no good. Now blocked by Quigley. Picked away by Quigley. She's got Dutrois in front of her, gives it to her as she goes to the right side of the rim to score that one, making a one-point game with seven minutes to play. And to get the starters back in, Holbrook's bench has got to call a timeout. 38-37 as four quick ones are put on the board by the Eagles. 
There's still an awful lot of time to go here on Show for its presentation of high school basketball on italk1067.com. In today's challenging economy, having a college education is a must. Northland Pioneer College is here to help you prepare for your future. NPC is committed to providing you with the highest quality education with the lowest tuition cost in the state. We offer a variety of advanced learning classes to prepare you for a transfer or associate's degree, personal interest education, or earning your GED. Contact an academic advisor for more information. Go online at npc.edu. All right, here's a development on the timeout. Tiffany Quigley has gone to the bench. She was limping, and she looks like she's taking off her right shoe. In her place comes Tess Baldwin, who's now going to anchor that 2 3 zone. So look at the top is Samantha Quigley. As Averly's got it near the foul line, that one rims out, but there's Chappelle getting the offensive rebound back out to Cummings, who's at three pointer back up and in. Wow, that's Cummings' fourth three pointer of the game. Samantha Quigley wanted to answer, but it was blocked. She's got the loose ball back. Double team, but she's trying to force this to Dudois, but instead feeds it right to Bain. Turn it over. The Roadrunners got the starting unit back out there, and they have come out hot after the timeout. Get the three and the turnover. As Spencer, her pass is deflected. Averly to Cummings as she finishes on the left block. Six point lead. Five minutes and 55 seconds left as Dudois tries that runner again, but this time Averly was able to get in front. Cummings with 12, Bain with nine, Joe with six, all in three point shots for the Roadrunners. Cummings to Chapel at the free throw line. One step to the left and back outside. Got about a three. Get it back from Spencer. Looking at Averly. She's got it in the mid post. Back outside Cummings. Reverse it to the left. Now as the Roadrunner is very patient. Chapel didn't realize she was open. And there's Averly with the rebound. No good. Might have been bumped and fouled. But here come the Eagles as Tiffany Quigley's back at the scorer's table. Samantha again with a turnover after over-penetrating and a traveling oh, violation yeah. is going to bail out the Eagles. And yeah, they'll Tiffany. call a traveling violation on Cummings as she uh, took an extra step in there after she caught the ball. Timeout taken by the Eagles, trailing six. Uh, and show look for its presentation of high school basketball on italk1067.com. Summit Healthcare Regional Medical Center is a proud supporter of high school sports. Many of our local sports players were born at the hospital where Summit Obstetrics offers comfortable individual rooms for mom and baby. In case of a sports injury, the hospital ER is always staffed and prepared to take on the most serious injuries. And Summit features an advanced diagnostics department with state-of-the-art equipment. The Summit Healthcare orthopedic and therapy teams can help sports players overcome injuries and return to the game. Summit Healthcare Regional Medical Center wishes all players a successful and healthy season this year. Want to buy the number one selling truck in America for over 41 years? Want to buy a vehicle with a lifetime engine warranty? Want to get the best deal in the state of Arizona on your new Ford car, truck, van, or SUV? Go to Sholo Ford. Anyone can say they'll give you a great deal, but Guy Hatchet Sholo Ford means it. In fact, he guarantees it. Buy the best from the best. Sholo Ford on the east end of the deuce. ALA uh, Gilbert turns it over after the timeout. And now the Roadrunners with a chance to extend a six point lead. The lead feels a little bit bigger than six in large part because of that shooting threat. Cummings with another Hudson's furniture three pointer down. And this nine point lead feels expensive. That was Megan Cummings' fifth three point shot of the game. Tiffany Quigley over to Johnson, who lets that one slip between her hands. And right now, the Eagles are having a hard time with the composure. Pass it into Spencer. She's up and down to the backcourt with White Rock, who's had a really hard time getting her uh, game going, especially on the offensive side. Really stolen away by Quigley, but it's saved back. Chapel now inside and out. Bain with a corner three that's short, but there's Averly with a the putback. Forty-eight, thirty-seven, and the Eagles getting a little bit panicky as there is some over penetration and a foul will be whistled on one of the Roadrunners. 
And I think Bain might have lost the contact. She is uh, also guilty of the foul. 15 foul. Oh my goodness, she put that back in right there? She's tougher than me. Quigley, inbounds it near the midcourt stripe, and Tiffany Quigley. Dubois ready to set a screen. She sends her away, trying to force that off to White Rock, and a foul is whistled on Chapel. I think that Tiffany Quigley is fortunate that she didn't get called for pushing off there. 16 foul, so for the remainder of the ball game, the Eagles are shooting free throws. Ball inbounded back to the three-point line, Tiffany Quigley. Headed off to Dubois. Johnson now corner three is up and away and good. Hudson's furniture three-pointer brings it back into the single digits. Spencer walking it over the time stripe. The Roadrunners can afford to use some clock. Nearly overcoming said she's able to bring it down. Spencer now moving to the left to reset. Leading eight. Chapel to the elbow and Averly, who can't knock down the jumper, pursuing her own miss. She ties up quickly. The possession error will send it to ALA Gilbert. So the Eagles get the stop. Now can they get some points? Yeah, Despa Johnson's got a couple of three-pointers under her belt as well for the Eagles. <laughs> Tiffany Quigley comes to the near side and Samantha Quigley. Dudois with Chapel rushing out to defend. Goes straight away to White Rock. Move it to the right side. Now skip it to the left. And it was a pass. That's a tough pass. A lot of distance. But they got to make up to get that over there. And it short hops White Rock, and she couldn't handle it. As we're looking for a Beeler Orthodontics straight line play of the game, live to smile, love your smile. That's Beeler Orthodontics. We're probably going to be looking at one of these three point shots, uh, Derek, because this has been the story of the game so far. Coming through the back door, not using the three-pointer that time. Opts to pass it back out and again occupy some clock with two minutes and 37 seconds left. Timeout taken by the Roadrunners as they are holding on to an eight-point lead. And let's, uh, let's have a conversation about this Beeler Orthodontic straight line play of the game. Yeah, Derek, as we look across the score sheet, I mean, we've seen people like Cummings, Bain, Joe, all from Holbrook really making a presence known on the three-point arc. And uh, so let's just go ahead and call that our straight line play of the game. Beeler Orthodontics, live the smile, love your smile. The three-point shot has been a huge factor in the Holbrook's eight-point lead thus far in this game. And so uh, I think it's just got to go to that. Yeah. And then uh, I think that you were alluding as the uh, Deemer's glass glassman of the game is probably going to go to Madison Chapel, who's been all over both the offensive and defensive glass. Exactly. If you need glass for your home or business, Deemer's glass in Lakeside is hands down the best place to call quality glass at affordable prices. Call 1-888-GLASSMAN, and we'll go ahead and give that to Megan Chapel of the Holbrook Roadrunners. Averly nearly loses that out of bounds, but able to save it both from the end line and quickly. Samantha Quigley can be a little bit more aggressive now with 2.27 to play as she's trying to stay in front of Cummings. Nearly in front of that pass is White Rock, but controlled by Chapel. Coming to the near side and eventually handed off to Bain. Occupying lots of time here with that eight-point lead. Ball fake, Cummings now on the dribble drive, back outside. They're gonna go ahead and continue to milk the clock with Mika Joe. And there Johnson commits the foul. But that's just going to be the second on ALA Gilbert. And after 20, oh, I think more than that, let's say 30 some seconds come off the clock. Another side out play for Holbrook with that eight point lead. We'll also be looking for the Honda Ski and Outdoor Sports Store player of the game. Chapel. Up and down near midcourt. I think that ALA Gilbert's going to have to roll the dice on something here and try to jump a lane. Minute 45 left, and they're still down three possessions. This has been a minute and a half now. Nope, no, about a minute. About a minute, and there a foul is being committed by Dudois, but that might be a minute too late. If they can't get a steal there, they probably oh, needed to yeah, extend this with the, with the whistle as Dudois runs over to the sideline to get a little bit of coaching. Into the backcourt, and Joe. 
needed to foul Rod Sooner now nearly taken away by White Rock, and eventually the foul is committed, but that's just the fourth. And they're gonna have to either start fouling sooner or dive in for a steal. I think at this point you, you can go for the steal on the inbound. If you don't get it, you got a foul. Chapel's all alone, and there's Dudois. No, they didn't call it. Not getting the whistle. Minute 20 left. The only player who cannot commit the foul is Quigley. Is there Johnson with some contact with the officials who we complimented for swallowing the whistle in the second half. Now they can't cough him up. Dudois grabs and fouls as there's just a minute and five seconds left. And that's still just the fifth team foul. Let's talk about the Honda Outdoor Ski and Sports Store player of the game. And we're gonna go ahead and give that over to Megan Cummings, number 20 of the Holbrook Roadrunners, who has had five three-pointers during the game, a total of 15 points for Megan Cummings. Congratulations, Megan Cummings, being the Honda Outdoor Ski and Sports Store player of the game for the best selection of hiking, hunting, fishing, camping gear on the mountain. Go to the Honda Ski and Outdoor Sports Store south of Pine Top on Highway 260. 48 40 with a minute and five seconds left. This is Sholo Ford's presentation of high school basketball on italk1067.com. Want to go fishing? Head to Honda Ski and Outdoor Sport. They have fishing supplies, outdoor fishing attire, and fishing gear, plus all kinds of bait, including live worms, flies, and lures. The staff are experienced anglers, and they can advise you on what you need, where to go, and what type of bait the fish are biting on. Plus, pick up your fishing, camping, and boat permits. When you think fishing, think Honda Ski and Outdoor. All right, back in play. And again, opting to not foul are the Eagles, as Chapel has it on the far sideline. And I think right now, the, the ALA Gilbert has just conceded. Quigley, who couldn't get in rhythm because of those fouls in the first half. And they all whistle well away from the basketball, but 20 seconds too late. That's just the 16 foul, so they're going to have to do it all over again. Holbrook got the basketball in the front court with two and a half minutes plus. Yeah, plenty of time to really make some plays happen. To If you're going to have to foul, then foul early. But all of this is bred by the absence of a shot clock, of course, in the high school game. And there, oh, that might wow. be intentional. She had a handful oh, of yeah, jersey. Really. So yeah. quickly came out uh, for some defense as that's now going to. All the roadrunners going to the backcourt. I wondered if they did change that and make it intentional, but they did not. So to the free throw line goes Mika Joe as quickly is back in there for some offense. Just conceding the rebound with uh, nobody on the line for the roadrunners as the first one is up and off the side rim. So there's only 40 seconds left. Quigley's got to hurry. She comes to the front court right in Tiffany Quigley to Dudois. They got to go much faster as it's instead taken away by Cummings. In the back court and into the center with Chapel. Less than 30 seconds to go in an eight-point lead. And I do not know if there's much that ALA Gilbert can do. Still they foul. As Aberly comes out. And it looks as if Holbrook has just secured the championship trophy for the Round Valley Round Ball Shootout here as the free throw out of Joe's hands connects. Make it 49-40. One for two for Mika Joe. Can't get that second. 20 seconds left as quickly. Goes to Dudois, far sideline, dropping off in the interior, looking for Johnson, but it's knocked away. And I think that's a fitting way to really complete this with Cummings flashing in front and yeah. really picking it off. She's had quite a game. Cummings being the Honda Outdoor Ski and Sports Store player of the game. Tiffany Quigley gets the inbound as she puts that up and in. Quigley, as there's the foul in the backcourt. They're going to make Spencer shoot some free throws. Spencer Lyons. Quigley, uh, Tiffany Quigley has been the top scorer for the ALA Eagles. Uh, total on 14 points on the game. Had a great game. While drawing a tough defensive matchup with Averly as well in the center of that 2-3 zone. 
front end of the one and one of the Mountain Mobile Auto Glass free throw is good. Another one coming here from Taylor Spencer, listed at 410 as a freshman. Spencer's first point of the game. Pass it up into the front court. Dudois going to the rim. She'll score that to make it 50 44. But, well, they do commit the foul. You know, Spencer, though, like you mentioned earlier, Derek, she's been tough to deal with on the defense. She's had her hands all over in the inside, uh, especially on Dudois, as we saw earlier. Holbrook fans are sensing it. As back to the free throw line goes Micah Joe. Smallest player on the court, but she packs a defensive punch. Yes. <laughs> Got uh, Bella McClory coming back in. This is the first time she's been out in the championship game. As uh, they had to replace Johnson after her fifth foul. And there, the second free throw is not good, but the buzzer sounds, and Holbrook claims the crown. Congratulations to the 2018 round. 51-44, the Roadrunners get the win and claim the championship in the 2018 it's Round the Valley Round Ball Shootout. The shoot championship. Got the boys championship game between Sholo and Cam Verde coming up next. Congratulations to the Holbrook Roadrunners as they claim the championship. And uh, we'll have more coming at you in the Sholo Ford presentation of high school basketball on italk1067.com. This has been an italk1067 sports exclusive presented by Sholo Ford. High school basketball is also brought to you in part by Northland Pioneer College, Ace Hardware of the White Mountains, Honda Ski and Outdoor Sport, Deemer's Glass, Beeler Orthodontics, Summit Regional Medical Center, Octopus Car Wash, Mountain Mobile Auto Glass, Little Bluebird Studios, and Hudson's Furniture. This is a copyrighted broadcast. Any rebroadcast, retransmission, or reuse of this program without the expressed written consent of ITALK 1067 and Country Mountain Airwaves is expressly prohibited. For more information about this game and others around the region, go to ITALK1067.com.